Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Today, I have a story of personal woe. But don't worry, it has a happy ending. AT&T had released Lollipop, which is the Android 5.0 version of the operating system, for my phone, the Galaxy Note 3, which I like my Note 3. And so I installed it because I've been waiting for that operating system. And when I installed it and restarted my phone, my phone didn't work very well. Only the back button worked. I couldn't change the wallpaper. Um, I couldn't answer phone calls. The phone would ring, but it wouldn't tell me anything about who was calling, and it wouldn't display the buttons for me to answer. So I'd have to go in, find who called, and call them back. Also, I didn't get any no more notifications. So if I got an email or a text message, it wouldn't tell me. It was terrible. So I restarted the phone, didn't help. I rebooted the phone, didn't help. So it was time for the dreaded factory reset. So I did the factory reset and of course lose all my applications, goes back to stock. So what I had to do is, you know, download all my applications and things. Well, I found an advantage to actually doing a factory reset. My phone had gotten very slow. I figured maybe the new operating system would speed that up, but obviously it just caused more problems. When I did the factory reset, and I went to the Play Store to get my apps, I just went into the My Apps section of the Play Store, and it lists, lists all the apps that you've downloaded. I realized that there's a lot of apps in there that I have downloaded and installed on my phone that I never really use. So I only installed the applications that I actually use. Now, I got all my contacts back because if your contacts are Google contacts, they're already backed up. I also have backup software on it so I can restore anything like that. My photos are automatically backed up to Google in the cloud, so I didn't lose any of my photos. So it took me about a day to reinstall all the applications and get all my icons the way I wanted them and my, you know, what launcher I wanted to use and, you know, what my screen was, my lock screen and my wallpaper and stuff. So it's all back to the way I like it. And it's much, much faster. So if you download the new Android 5.0 Lollipop onto your phone and it starts acting weird and you're dreading a factory reset, don't. Because you can actually prune through your, you know, applications and find the ones that you actually use and only install those. Don't install the ones that you never use. It'll speed your phone up, make your phone experience a lot better. So, you know, it's kind of like when you move, you clean out all your stuff, you put it in the truck, and you say, wait, I don't use all this stuff. So you throw out some stuff. Well, it's a lot like that. So clean out your phone, do a factory reset if you need to, or just prune your applications every once in a while. Say, yeah, hey, I don't use this. Let's delete it. So clean up your phone. Be good about it. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV Help Desk. You have a good day.